Hey everybody, uh, hi, my name is Jen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me. So today is the end of the month. Um, it is TBR time. Yay! Sparkle fingers. Um, right, TBR time. So today we're doing a TBR video. Right. That was a little dumb, wasn't it? Okay, so TBR video. So here's how this works around here. Um, I start with a D6, and I roll my D6 um, to decide how many books I'm going to put on my TBR uh, for the month. So um, I'll get whatever the D6 is, whatever the D6 rolls, and then I'll have three other books, Paco's Book Club, uh, Princess's Book Club, and Paula's Book Club. So I'll have um, whatever D6 plus three. Um, yeah. So that's how many books I will read this month. And yeah, that's how I roll. Um, so that's how I decide how many books to read. And then for the books that uh, are to determine like prompts or whatever, I use the tbrmachine.com, which has yet to fail me. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull the prompts, I'm gonna roll the die. I'm gonna pull the prompts up. I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna go looking for books. And then I'm going to come back and tell you what books I've chosen. There you go. That's how this works. So, um, right. My challenge this month um, is to do only books that I can get for free. Uh, either books that I already have, books that are from the library, or books that are from Kindle Unlimited. Um, because, yeah, Envy is broke. Fucking broke. Like, zero dollars in the bank broke. So I can't be buying books. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. So to start, uh, let us begin. <laughs> I'm going to roll the die. And we're going to see how many books I have to roll. Uh, I have to roll how many books I have to read. So here we go. Oops. Five. So this month is going to be a busy month. Um, I'll have five, six, seven, so I'll have a total of eight books to read this month. Uh, yeah, so let's see about prompts. I have the TBR machine up on my big monitor behind the, the camera, so we're going to see what prompts I have. There's a big button that says randomize, and I'm about to hit it. Here we go. Prompt number one. Read a self-published book. Interesting. Okay. I can probably find some of those on KU. Um, prompt number two, read a historical fiction. Okay. Okay. Prompt number three, read a book with a protagonist who is different from you, uh, e.g. in gender, ethnicity, sexuality, ability, etc. So that should be fun. Prompt number four, read your most recent book purchase. I got a stack. <laughs> so... <laughs> And prompt number five, read a book by your favorite author. That's going to be hard because I don't have no favorite. Um, so that's going to require some thought. So those are my five prompts. Uh, actually, I tell you what I'm going to do because I'm not in the mood to reread. And I feel like that's what I'd end up doing. I'm not in the mood to reread. I want to read new stuff. So I'm going to reroll the last prompt. A uh, book that was released before you were born. Ugh, couldn't I have gotten something good? Bleh. Um, alright, we'll see what comes up. I may re-roll again. If I do, I'll tell you when I come back. Because, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want to read anything old. Eh. Eh. I don't know, we'll see. Um that was released before you were born. Maybe some good 70s that SF. Maybe some good 70s SF. That could work. I could read iRobot or something like that. That could work. I could do that, maybe. I don't know. Um, talking, I'm thinking out loud now at this point. Um, so, got my numbers, got my prompts. Gonna go, um, gonna go find my books. 
going to do that. I will be back momentarily. Five hours later. Okay, I'm back. Um, so, I've got almost all of my books. Um, one that I don't have. So, do 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 do. Here we go. Um, the first book is a self-published book. That was my first prompt. Read a self-published book. And I chose a book called Miss Percy's Pocket Guide to the Care and Feeding of British Dragons. It's by Quenby Olson. And my understanding of it is that the main character is a curmudgeonly sort of spinster who um, has no plans for, like, adventures or what have you. And then her, like, great uncle or somebody dies and leaves her a dragon. Um, so now she has a dragon. And, uh, yeah. So that's adventurous. So anyway, it looks cute. Uh, it looks funny. So, um, yeah. Uh, the next book that I picked up was, or the next prompt, or rather, was um, read a historical fiction. And I chose a book called The Underground Railroad, The, the Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead. Um, Colson Whitehead also wrote, hang on. Was it Colson Whitehead that wrote... Nickel Boys. That's the one that I read. And um, very good. Extremely good. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I was thinking that he had written um, Ring Shout, but that was uh, P. Jelly Clark. So had that wrong. Um, no, but uh, The Underground Railroad is about apparently a young enslaved woman uh, who is escaping from slavery on a literal underground railroad. So that should be interesting. I'm looking forward to that. Um, read a book with a protagonist who is different from you. <laughs> I almost caught myself on this one. I started to pick up, um, I started to pick up A Psalm of Storms and Silence because I've been really looking forward to reading this book. And then I pulled it out of the pile and I realized I have a sticky note on it that I'm doing it, I'm reading it in August as a buddy read with Paula and Princess. So I can't very well read it in July if I'm reading it in August, can I? Um, I mean, I guess I could, but that would be bad form. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, right. So instead... Uh, I went looking for the second Binti novella, uh, which is Binti Home by Nettie Okorafor. And I'm really looking forward to that one because the first Binti was very good. I enjoyed it a lot. So I'm looking forward to the second one. In this one, the main character, which is Binti, um, goes home. Um, I don't want to say much because I don't want to spoil the first novella. Uh, anyway, whatever. I'm not going to talk about it. Um, main character is Binti, and she has adventures. It's science fiction. Um, there you go. Now you know. Um, right. So, the next prompt, one, two, three, four, prompt number four is read your most recent book purchase. And I had one, two, three, four, like five to choose from. Yeah, I'd like five to choose from. Because, yeah, um, my technically my most recent book purchase was um, The Vanished Queen, but I'm reading that this month. So as a matter of fact, I'm starting it tonight in sprints. Um, so, yeah, that one doesn't count. Um, so uh, instead, I went with um, one of the books that I recently picked up at Barnes & Noble, which is uh, Lore Olympus by um, Rachel Smythe. So this is volume one. I have not read Lore Olympus before. Um, I've heard a lot about it. Um, and everything that I've heard has been good. So let me put that right there. Yay. Now it blocks the light. Never mind. Um, right, Lore Olympus. Um, it's about, uh, it's a new take on the Persephone myth, basically. Um, she was raised with mortals, uh, mother's trying to keep her, you know, safe. 
and um, when she promises to train as a sacred virgin, she gets to go to Olympus and gets immediately caught up in like this wild and crazy life that the gods lead. Um, there's like, I don't know. Um, it says here, Persephone must navigate the confusing politics and relationships that rule Olympus while also figuring out her own place and her own power. Um, and also, she's into Hades. Um, so yeah, Lower Olympus, Volume 1. Gonna read that this month. Um, looking forward to that. So, there we go. Um, my last prompt was read a book that was released before you were born. And I chose The Lathe of Heaven by Ursula K. Le Guin. Um, I don't actually know what it's about. Let me look. Hang on. The Lathe of Heaven. This one took me forever because I was like, I was all over trying to find something that I could get from the library and nothing that I was finding. Like I tried to find uh, James Tiptree books because I've read Tiptree before and she's amazing. Um, couldn't find anything. Uh, any, excuse me. Anyway, um, during a time racked by war and environmental catastrophe, George or George Orr discovers his dreams alter reality. George is, hang on, compelled to seek treatment from re Dr. William Haber, an ambitious sleep psychiatrist who quickly grasps the immense power George holds. After becoming adept at manipulating George's dream to reshape the world, Haber seeks the same power for himself. George, with some surprising help, must release must release, must resist Haber's attempts, which threaten to destroy reality itself. So there you go. Um, the Lathe of Heaven. Um, so I'm looking forward to that one. That should be interesting. And that one came out in, I want to say, I think, 71. Hang on a minute. Hang on. The Lathe of Heaven. novel. It won the Locus Award in, hang on a minute, that's Amazon. I don't want Amazon. I want Goodreads. Now, there we go. 1971. Yeah, I was right. Uh, it won the Locus Award that year for science fiction. Uh, so yeah, um, got that. Right. Um, then for Paco's Book Club, we're reading a book called Dragon Pearl by Yoon Ha Lee. Um, that one uh, they have at the library, so I'm looking forward to that. Don't know what it's about, have no idea, didn't look it up. Just looked to see if the library had it. Um, and for Princess's Book Club for July and August, we're reading The Broken Girls by Simone St. James. And I may have to hold off on that one until August because the library's got it on a 20-week wait. So it's going to depend on whether I can get it through a different library um, or whether I'm able to scrounge up the pennies to uh, buy it. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Simone St. James is excellent. So, um, yeah. And then the last book is the one for Paula's Book Club, and I have no idea what we're reading. Um, the votes are not in yet on the uh, on the poll, so it could be anything. Um, I'm kind of hoping for Salt for the Wild Built, because I'd really like to read that. Um, but I don't know. It could be anything. It could be whatever. So, yeah, so those are my books. Um, I don't know which one I'm looking forward to the most, honestly. Um, I really don't. So, it's going to be interesting to see which ones are good and which ones are not good. I feel like they're all going to be good. I feel like they're all going to be good. Um, Paco always picks good books. Princess has picked a good one this month because Simone St. James, like I said, she's excellent. Um, and then I've heard nothing but good things about the other ones that I've heard anything about. So, there you go. Um, so, that is my TBR for July. Um, I'm done. <laughs> That's all I've got to say about that. And that's all I have to say about that. Um, so, uh, 
leave me a comment if you know anything about any of these books. Um, if you've read any of them, if you liked them, if you didn't like them. I want to hear what you have to say. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I want to talk about. No, I think we've got everything. So, like I said, leave a comment if you have anything to say about any of these books or anything in general, really, honestly. Uh, anything that you want to talk about, leave me a comment. Let's have a conversation. Uh, I'm trying to stop saying um so much because I play my videos back and that's all I can hear is um, um, um. Uh, she says and then she does it again. So... I'm done. Like and subscribe. Hit the little bell for notifications, etc., etc., etc. If you have comments, do leave them. If you don't have comments, leave me an emoji. Um, I don't care which one. Just, you know, any any emoji. Any emoji is good. Yeah. So, uh, if you are interested, like I said, I already said, like and subscribe. God. I'm trying so hard not to say um that I'm losing track of everything else that I'm supposed to be saying. I'm going to go. I'm done. I've done everything that I can do. I have all the damage that I can create. So, um, yeah. I'm going to go. I'm done. I'm done. I'm out. I'm out. Stick a fork in me. Um, stay cool. As I always say, remember, life's too short to read bad books. Bye.